What is going on, YouTube? It's Kuma1921 here. Got me another deck profile update for um deck I went uh, 8 and 1 with. I started off, uh, I went 8 and 0, and I ended up losing the last round to my friend uh, Thomas Vo. We were both at table 1, both playing uh, Elemental Dragons. So, uh, as you can see, I'm just showing off here my um, tokens I use most of, most of the day. My, uh, um, what's the game called? Carfight Vanguard tokens, and got my other, my favorite uh, one of the three. Uh, I don't know what you call them, legendaries, I guess, from the newer Pokemon or whatever. And then this guy, Lake Teeny, is pretty cool. And uh, my Bowser, my Broly. So, yeah, those are my tokens. Like, for you guys, the um, well, reason why I'm showing these, one reason why I'm showing these, one, to show them off, and two, to want you guys to comment below and tell me what uh, tokens you guys use. I want to know and see what other cool ideas. My friend, uh, Bogley, went as far as to taking his little brother's toy, uh, uh, air or helicopters and use this little toy helicopters as his Draco side tokens. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'll jump right into the deck list. I had a really good day. Uh, round one, I played against uh, Mermail. Well, obviously, I had a really good day. Uh, round one, I played against Mermail. Round two, I played against Evil Swarm. Round three, I played against my boy Tyree Tinsley. Ended up going to game three. Uh, it was a mirror match. Round four, I played against uh, one of my friends from the local. From from the local I go to right now, and that was a mirror match. Uh, ended up stealing game two because he uh, made Draco sack with two tokens, and uh, I was at twenty four and he's at twenty two. He had no cards in hand, so like I literally knew I won the game because you know Gaia Pearson won his tokens for game, stole it. So uh, and obviously I won game one. So um yeah, and then around five, I might be getting those two rounds mixed up. But around five, I want to say I played against um yeah round five I played against Firefist that uh, main Leopard uh, and Spirit. And uh, he only got a Leopard off. Only card I saw was Leopard game one. Like, the game was over that quick. Game two, he, uh, I ended up keeping it one of my maxis out of the three because I felt that he uh, he said something in the beginning or, or in the middle of uh, game one where it made it seem like he wasn't playing Spirit at all. But uh, I ended up keeping one in just in case. I think he was just trying to throw me off. And sure enough, he ends up going Leopard into Tinky. Tinky got a Spirit, and then he activated Tinsu, extra summon the Spirit, and... Um, Activated the effect on his leopard, and I chained uh, Maxi. He ended up going into Zen mains and set a back row. Um, so obviously, I got a plus one off Maxi, then I draw for my turn. So I'm drawing to what is that? You know, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm drawing to eight cards. I think that is. My math is right. And uh, he ends up, I end up MST in his torrential, and uh, I end up going off and like literally giving him like eight cards because I had Super Drew for six. And I ended with Big Eye stealing his uh, Zen mains. And uh, switching it to attack mode, and I had Scrap Dragon and uh, Blaster, and all the Blaster attack for fifty six hundred in the fifteen with the his Zen mains. The main phase two Scrap Dragon and killed targeted his Zen mains, um, in his ten key and kill both. And then I protected his Zen mains. Obviously, in the end phase, I killed the uh, Tensu to make him work to get you know another ten key and Tensu in the field. Uh, I also uh, card destruction him too, and card destruction might put like a bear and a tinky in his grave. So he's down to one tinky already, and he was drawing all those cards. And I just felt that, you know, without um, Chicken, Beast Lord Vulcan, and uh, the Blue Serious Dog, that, you know, they can't really do too much to me. So I ended up, like I said, kept going. He had like nine, ten cards in hand, but I also had six cards in hand with a massive field. And he ended up actually just scooping that next turn. So because he had like a pair of Iron Wall, like four other traps, and then like two other, his last two bears. And like something else. And that was nothing I was going to get over my field because I was already set up. So, uh, round six, I played against. Uh, damn, well, I'm forgetting round six. Oh, round six, I played against Consteller. And a uh, Consteller boy, actually, um, he has a, a profile. This guy has Snake Wings. Wings with a, or with a Z instead of S at the end. Snake Wings has a deck profile. But uh, if you want to see that Consteller deck profile, he ended up going 8 and 1. I was his only loss. Uh, round seven, I played against another mirror match. Round eight, I played against uh, Spellbook. wasn't really a match, though, because he uh, ended up drawing, uh, like, horrible game one and two. And um, some actually just saw in, uh, Italian Nationals. That's pretty much what happened to the Italy guy. Game two, he, like, drew nothing. But that's, that's – so I really didn't get to, like, test my deck pretty much against uh, – see how it did against Spellbooks. But I ended up winning that. So that was the result of Nato. And then I played against Vo last round, and I ended up losing that one. So, yeah, I went eight and one, uh, got second place at the Swiss. And after all that talking, jumped right into the deck list. It's 42 cards. Um, play three Veiler, obviously. I'm sorry, I'm all wibbly wobbly. Got the nice mat, as you can see, under here. Uh, three Veiler. I'm doing this with one hand because my girlfriend's at work, and uh, I lost my camera. So, yeah, it sucks. I'm doing it on my iPhone. 
Uh, three Baylor, three Maxi, uh, two Joel Lockbird, just for the simple fact that, you know, actually, it's not that bad in the mirror. People like write it up, oh, it's so bad in the mirror. I don't want to mean it. I mean, they don't realize that, uh, I mean, Frazier Smith wrote an article last week sometimes, so that probably helped out a lot of people and maybe gave people a different insight. But um, it's actually not that bad. Like, actually, against uh, Tyree, game one, um, he ended up, like, on baby pitch and then another big guy, especially some of the big guy, and then banished uh, the cards he just, you know, discarded. And then he added a card, he added a dragon or whatever to his hand from whatever he, he um, whatever he banished. And I ended up pitching Joel Lockbird just in case he had another baby pitch. Or even if he didn't, it's still a pot of greed at, at, at least, you know, at minimum. If he did have um, super rejuvenation. So I just activated the Joel Lockbird because it wasn't doing anything in my hand. It was my only card in my hand. So I was like, well, you know what? Just in case you do have reju, I'm going to activate it. So it ended up working out because he set a back row and it was there for like two turns. And it ended up being that reju. So that actually ended up working out. And um, actually, another application that you can, um, I don't know if you guys realize, but on your turn, if they max see you after they draw one card, you can pitch your drawing lock on your own turn to make them stop drawing cards. But you also got to keep in mind that whatever you banish, if you do banish big dragons, you can't add you, yourself. You can't add, uh, yeah, that whole turn. So if you can still OTK them or whatever and have them, you know, stop drawing cards, more power to you. So, yeah, two drawing lock uh, in my ninth hand trap, uh, one with Scarecrow. And then, obviously, pretty much everything else is just really simple. I'm just going to, like, flash it out. Obviously, it's a... Uh, Three big red, two small red, three big water, two small water, the standard, three big wind, uh, two small wind, and three big earth, two small earth. And then I play Corsica over guard. The reason why I'm playing Corsica is uh, two different reasons I actually noticed, and then I want to explain uh, how it, you can actually create a blaster play within a couple turns. Uh, instead of, because, you know, like a lot of people always say, the first thing I always hear, which is the first thing I said when I was playing it, is, you know, oh, well, it's an extra card that you can use for blaster to pop. But one thing that people got to realize, I mean, I used the title Foolish Burial Effect one time the whole tournament, but Tempest Effect to search my fourth element, I did that a lot, actually. Or even sometimes just my third element that I needed to use at that time. I used that a lot. And the fact of the matter that if you open with Tempest and Guard, you can't pitch those to search for Tempest, but you can't pitch that in Corsica. So that actually helps. And that also adds and helps a lot. I did that a lot with uh, my, my Joel Lockbird. If it wasn't good against the matchup, I would just have Joel and Tempest, and I would use the Joel as food for Tempest to search my fourth element and be able to get me going so I could use all four effects each turn. So, uh, you know, to the maximum extent, maximum extent. And also another main thing is uh, when you're banishing, I mean, the only relevant time where I probably would search uh, I try to like never banish my blasters like for good. I try to if I banish them for Sark, I'm gonna get it back. But I usually keep blaster for the OTK because that 400 attack actually matters a lot when you're going for game because you know usually 26, 26, and 28 is exact game. 28, 28, 24 is exact game, or um, you know 28, 28, 26 is 8200. So like those that that really matters in terms of when you go off a game that 400 attack and banishing a tempest usually after everything is said and done. I'm not gonna say he's the weakest link, but he's uh. He's weak in terms of, um, you know, not when you're not going for game. And I, I would say, I guess, Red X is probably the best because he has a big butt and can save you a lot. So, yeah, that's uh, 30 monsters. I mean, Blast is my favorite, so I'm probably going to say he's the best because he's the strongest and he's what get, usually go, helps you go for game. So, But anyway, um, so that's 30 monsters. Then I play three Sark, three Super Rejuvenation, uh, one Book of Moon, Card Destruction, uh, Dark Hole. I like Dark Hole a lot. Uh, actually, it helped me win against Tyree. He, um, game two, or game three, excuse me, he uh, had a, a token, a vanity name did his face up, and a set monster. I had a face up um, stream, and I ended up dark holing his field. So I killed his monster, which means that I turned off his emptiness, and I was able to go off and push for a, lot of, a good bit of damage and uh, be able to take him out of the game within the next couple, like two turns. So um, just that, and then the fact like you can clear Clemson Brady, you can clear Obelisk, which I actually did against my friend um, round four. Um, I, I don't know. I, I just like it a lot. I just, I mean, there's probably more I can explain about it, but this video is like already long for me ranting in the beginning. So I'm going to hurry up and go through the rest of the deck list. Heavy Storm. And then I played a uh, two breakthrough skill. Really standard. And that's a total of uh, 42 cards, like I said. Uh, then also I played uh, two Electric Virus, uh, the second Swiss Scarecrow for the mirror match, and sometimes, uh, um, well, like definitely Mermail and like sometimes, you know, other whatever matchups. My uh, one random tech, I played uh, one Ryko. Uh, I couldn't figure out, like, it was between, like, Malevolent Catastrophe, Morphin John number two. There was a couple cards. I was just, well, Obelisk. I was just switching to, and I ended up just playing the Ryko. It didn't really do anything relevant except for flip and destroy uh, a rivalry that I targeted against the Spellbook guy, but he was already down and out anyway. Like, all he did was, like, draw set pass, draw set a back or pass. Then, like, another turn, he, like, threatened and roared to save himself, and then he set another threatening on another turn. I invaded him and seated and beat him that turn. So 
it didn't really do anything relevant. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't cite it again unless I probably cited it in twos or threes. But, I mean, it is a good card, though. Helps you, you know, get another element in the grave or fill your grave with other dragons, etc., etc. Uh, Tutsuki Yomi. Well, an enemy controller for Mermail and um, the Mirror Match. And sometimes uh, Spellbook because you can, like, put a Jog into a weak point, 200 attack, and attack over it. Well, that's if, the, you know, they don't have a Star Hall with a million counters. But, um, yeah, so I played uh, three MST, three Eradicator, and uh, two Vanny Dentinus. And then for the extra deck, real quick. Um, so Optimus, uh, one Gaia, obviously three Draco Sack, Cars Broken. I never ended up going in the three the whole day, but uh, three was still needed just in case, you know, I would have to. I mean, I can't say the same for Big Eye because I only played two. And, um, I feel like with Big Eye, it's almost, I don't know if I can really compare the two, but it's kind of like last format's windups where you didn't need to play Pot of Avarice because if you did your banishing right, you shouldn't need Pot of Avarice. So I kind of felt like if you didn't go into Big Eye willy nilly and, like, you know, didn't have a backup for it in the first place, because, like, in the mirror match, I really tried not to Big Eye first or Big Eye at all, unless I have, like, a Maxi and a Veiler, a Maxi and a Book of Moon, or, you know, Veiler and a Book, or Veiler and a Breakthrough skill set to counter their Big Eye, you know, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I only ended up playing two Big Eye, which I'll get to in a second. Gaios, uh, Lucky Street, two Big Eye, um, Armory Arm, Black Rose. Colossal Fighter, Crimson Blader, obviously like the best sinker probably right now. Um, Beret, Beret you can use with the Draco Sack tokens because they're machine and one of your tuners. Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend and uh, Scrap Dragon. So that's my rather long deck profile. Sorry for the rain in the beginning, but I thought I should tell you guys my matchups. Um, yep, this is the 8-1 deck profile. Got second place at the Frederick Maryland Regionals, about 430 people. Uh, Thomasville obviously got first place. It was uh, five dragons. One no four dragons one Castellar, two evil swarm, I think that was it. No four dragons. No, it was no. I know there was no prophecy. I forgot. I, I might be missing one. But yeah, dragons was the majority. I think I want. I guess I could say five dragons, one Castellar for sure, two evil swarm, and I, I, yeah, I think that was the eight. So um yeah, guys like the deck profile, like comment, and subscribe. Um I'll be having more videos coming up soon. We're on the road to nationals, so uh, be looking out for more videos. All right, talk to you guys later. Puma nineteen twenty one's out. Peace.